Channel 2 News starts now with breaking news. We come on the air tonight with breaking national news. Just hours ago, President Joe Biden announced he is dropping out of the 2024 presidential race. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mary Ellis Demler. And hello, I'm Scott Levin, the president, posting this message on social media this afternoon, saying over the past three years, quote, we have made great progress as a nation. He also thanked the American people, as well as Vice President Kamala Harris. Tonight, the former senator and California attorney general is earning President Biden's endorsement. Kamala Harris will have less than a month to rally her party ahead of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. And two on your sides, Rob Hackford joins us now to explain that process and what's next for the Democratic Party. Rob? Yeah, good evening, Scott and Mary Alice. A tall task ahead. The Biden-Harris ticket appeared set in stone until recently. Support for the president slowly being worn away by a stream of Democratic lawmakers that can be traced back to Biden's consequential debate with former President Trump. Now, the vice president taking the reins with Biden's blessing, but her nomination is not guaranteed. Kamala Harris certainly has a head start and is largely considered the front runner. But from now until the Democratic National Convention, which starts on August 19th, Harris and whoever she picks as a running mate will have to earn the delegates that originally chose President Biden during the uncontested Democratic primary this spring. Tonight, Democratic National Committee Chair Jamie Harrison promising a, quote, transparent and orderly process to select a new nominee, offering these words regarding President Biden. I'm emotional because I am still, still riding with Biden. I still support my president. And we will get through this, my friends, as we always do. So I just wanted to put that on record that I love Joe Biden. Uh, and I'm so appreciative of his leadership over these years. Harrison did not go as far as to endorse the vice president and said that the American people will hear more from the Democratic Party on next steps in short order. President Biden adding in his letter addressing the American people will come this week. He plans to speak on that matter and provide more detail about his decision. On your side in the studio, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News. Rob, thanks. And former President Donald Trump released a statement that reads in part, quote, crooked Joe Biden was not fit to run for president and is certainly not fit to serve now and never was. He only attained the position of president by lies, fake news and not leaving his basement. Former President Barack Obama also released a statement and fell short of endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris as commander in chief. The statement reads in part, quote, I know Joe has never backed down from a fight. For him to look at the political landscape and decide that he should pass the torch to a new nominee is surely one of the toughest in his life. But I know he would not make this decision unless he believed it was right for America, end quote. And we're also hearing from New York's Senate delegation. Senate Majority Leader and New York's senior senator Chuck Schumer tweeted, quote, Joe Biden has not only been a great president and a great legislative leader, but he's a truly amazing human being. His decision, of course, was not easy, but he once again put his country, his party, and our future first. Joe, today shows you are a true patriot and a great American. And our other U.S. Senator, Kirsten Gillibrand, tweeted, Thank you, Joe Biden, for your decades of public service. I'm so proud of everything that we've accomplished together, from fighting for health care for veterans, exposed to burn pits, to passing historic legislation, making gun trafficking a federal crime, to making investments in jobs. 